And just a really well-defined eye on this system as it continues to churn in the Atlantic and push ever closer to us. Here is the latest plot from the National Hurricane Center. 5 a.m. update, max winds at 130, gusts going to 160, west-northwest at 17. So let's look where this is headed. Now, we expected wobbles in this forecast. Uh, it, it has been very consistent all the way through Thursday uh, at 2 o'clock. That forecast really remains unchanged on that northwesterly track. But now we're starting to see the system possibly interact with other elements in the atmosphere. So the National Hurricane Center has started to turn it to the west a little bit. They've taken some of the uh, they'll still see effects, but they've taken some of the outer banks out of out of play on this. And this is by Friday morning 2 a.m. It could be making landfall. It could still be clear down here out to sea. So that is the point that uh, if this turns to the west, that means it's going to shove a lot of rain into parts of North Carolina. And that's why we still have those record flooding amounts possible down south. By Sunday morning at 2 a.m., this thing could be through northern North Carolina into southwest Virginia. It could still be out over the water. So a lot of question marks on where this thing is going to be. And then as we get out toward Monday morning, this uh, could end up somewhere up into the Kentucky uh, and Tennessee River Valleys, or it could end up as far south as Georgia, even northern Florida starting to come into play with this again. So a long ways to go as to who might see the effects of this. The spaghetti models keep it tightly packed. You'll notice uh, as we go through, they're starting to come more in alignment, though, with a westerly track that it gets kicked to the west and then kind of sucks up out here and it picks up speed. That's good news. We want this thing to move out quickly because it would take the heavy rainfall with it. What are our threats and risks? Well, here's where we are right now. I think we do see a moderate risk of tornadoes on Friday, especially south and east of the triangle. Uh, as you get down into Wayne County, especially, I think you start to see a moderate risk for that. High winds Thursday night through all day Friday, you're starting to get into the higher risk for higher winds and also for power outages from Friday and even on into Saturday. As the rain continues to fall and those weak roots of trees start to fall over, you may see power outages. I think our biggest threat, it, threat is flooding. That would be Friday, Saturday, all the way into Sunday. And then depending on where that rain falls, you could actually see even more flooding next week as we look at several of the river basins catching all of that rain. And then you get river flooding. So that would be something to watch for next week.